Am I fashionable? I think not. Hey Alamo City Movie Talk fans, my name is Ryan D, aka you know the Ryan 680, and this is Alamo City Movie Talk. Usually I have a crew here, guys. They're not here, but they are here in spirit. Alrighty, let's get the show on the road. This is my review of Phantom Thread. I say it very calmly because Daniel Day Lewis is in this freaking movie. That's right. Now, with all that being said, oh, all right, so this is written and directed by Paul Thomas Anderson. This is eighth movie, guys. Second collaboration with Daniel Day Lewis himself. Lincoln, there will be blood, but there isn't today. It is the dresser himself, the designer himself, Mr. Woodcock. Alrighty guys, so this actor, this actor portrays such a phenomenal role. He plays Mr. Wilcock who is stuck in this mindset of, hey, I'm gonna do this this time, I'm gonna do this that time, and there, that's it. Nothing's gonna change my mind. You know why? Because I'm Daniel Day Lewis. Not really, I'm Mr. Wilcock. But at the same time, Daniel Day Lewis portrays this character so well and so amazing. It is significant to this because he just, Everything he does is amazing pretty much in this film. Now, the, the thing that really stuck out to me the most was the music, the symphony. I loved the music. If you can hear it right now, no, you cannot, but I will. maybe I'll play it in the next video. But if you can hear the music, it was phenomenal. I loved it so much. It really captured the emotion in this movie. Usually in a climactic film, you know, we get explosions, you know? Maybe I'll add a sound effect next video. But, you know, we get uh, explosions, you know, we get, you know, we get fighting scenes, but this... Climax of the the climax of this movie was amazing. Man, did I love it. I loved it because the symphony was so great and so phenomenal during the climax of this movie. Now, moving forward, Daniel Day-Lewis does, you know, seem like a stuck-up guy, you know? He's pretty much, he loses his mind when he falls in love randomly. He falls in love and he loses all his vision of art. He loses his vision of designing. Now, if there's one thing I would pay my buck to, I would love to see Daniel Day-Lewis design a shirt for me or maybe a dress oh man no i don't think so with all that being said what we needed i mean we needed i wanted more of the movie this movie did feel a little bit long kind of but then nonetheless it's a paul thomas anderson movie so what do you expect i left the theater wanting more and more and mas and mas yes i said in spanish ladies and gentlemen yep that's probably the only spanish word that i know maybe I don't know. We'll find out. Alrighty. So, man, I mean, this movie was uh, amazing. I mean, in the end, you know, just without going to spoiler details, Daniel Day Lewis does portray another great role. I mean, this was truly him. Just the same thing we saw with Lincoln. That I, when I think of Lincoln, I think of Daniel Day Lewis. Now, that's how great of an actor he is, ladies and gentlemen. Rate one out of ten. I'll probably have to give this hmm, a solid seven. Why? Because this is probably the only Paul Thomas Anderson movie that I enjoyed. I know that people are going to hate me for that. Would I recommend this movie? Yes, I would. Most definitely, ladies and gentlemen. Go check out this movie, guys. Daniel Day-Lewis does another great job, a great role. You need to check this out, ladies and gentlemen. Also, would I, would I buy this movie? Yes, I would buy this. I would buy this movie if Best Buy comes out with the steel book. That's how great of a movie this was. You know why? Because I can relate to it. I just asked my fiance, Angela. You'll understand. All right, Alamo City Movie Talk fans, moviegoers all over the world. Thank you for making me a part of your day. My name is Ryan D, aka Ryan 680, and this is Alamo City Movie Talk. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up. This is my first solo movie review, guys, so hopefully you'll be gentle. Wake up, wake up.